Hey guys, it's uh, me David uh, on the fan channel. Hey, wait, I just noticed something. Why isn't my light on? Much better. Well, as you can see right now, it's a dark time. You may be viewing this in the dark too, or you may also be viewing it in the light. Anyways, guys, I'm here to give you an update on what is for sale. Alright, so I got some new creations. Some of you may not even know about these creations. Alright, well, you're probably wondering what this big red thing here is for. Well, it is called a ra Revenant? Revenant? Something like that. I don't know. Um, it is seen in Halo Reach. Um, I think I designed it really well. Here, I'll show you the picture of it. Switch over to the computer. There's the picture of it on Flickr. That is what it looks like. There's a brand new vehicle into Halo Reach, which is coming out September 14th. Can't wait to see you guys online, because I will be playing it 24-7 that week. So, uh, there's some photos of what it looks like, kind of. But, uh, basically it's just a Covenant, uh, vehicle. But Spartans apparently use it, too. Uh, it's just not manufactured by, uh, the UNSC. So I tried to capture the engine detail right right there and right there as best as I could. Um, but I did think it came out pretty good. I don't think there's too many flaws. Um, yeah, and there is, you see, this thing is basically a mini version of the Wraith. That's basically what it is. It's got a plasma cannon. It's just a little weaker, but it can still take out a person, or a Spartan, or a Grunt, or I think a Brute, maybe. But, uh, uh, definitely not a, um, Hunter. That would take, like, three shots. But anyways, um, definitely some unique designs on this. And I found out all the pieces were available on pick a brick so that was really good. Uh, so I went, aho went ahead, got a couple, so these will be for sale. On the store, I also have a ghost coming soon. Uh, I haven't built it. It's the one that Kubert's made, so uh, that's the type of ghost I'll be using. And uh, what's nice about this uh, Revenant thing, I'm just gonna call it a Ravenant. Ravent uh, is that it's got the full control panel right there. I tried to get as much detail as I could in there. It really came out better than I expected. I thought it was gonna look really crappy, but it actually came out really good. It's kind of a light model, but there is a lot of pieces that went into it. I found out on Pick a Brick that it has like over, I think just about over 205 pieces, because there is a lot of detail, surprisingly, into this little model. Um, the Warthog. Okay, a couple things on the for sale Warthog are going to be a bit different. A couple pieces weren't available in the exact color. So, for instance, this piece right here, that that gray piece right there, that will be black. So, um, I'll make a video showing you know proper showing of everything I'll be showing for sale but for um this is just an update to give you an idea uh this will be going for probably about 25 to 30 dollars probably about 25 dollars include a red spartan maybe maybe a green spartan I don't know this one will include a green spartan and the ghost will include a dark green spartan so uh yeah that'll be cool uh, yeah so um really that's all I wanted to explain um also, a lot of you are asking, what am I going to do for instructions? I was planning on to print the instructions. Now, my printer is a good printer. It's got a pretty good, you know, it's a Canon printer. It's uh, quite a nice printer. But um, I think I think uh, it's going to be too much. The ink cost these days is very high. So what I'm going to do is just do a digital PDF file of the instructions, which is where you saw the, it'll be like a folder. You open it up, and it'll be a PDF file, and you have to select all the pictures at once. You can do that on any computer, and then you just go down. It's just a simple mechanism. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to burn it onto a CD, and it'll come in this cover. And one of those boxes, I did order the special boxes Brick Mania uses. Daniel Siskin was nice enough to tell me. I can't tell you guys, but um, so I'm using the same boxes, just a bit bigger, a little bit different size dimensions. Um, but yeah, um, more info to come out, um, so I just wanted to give you a quick update on this, and before I go, I have a couple of special guests right on the computer, 
and you can see me actually I don't look the best um, but I have Flame Babies 735 uh, JPO 1997 Michael MGF and Cheesehead 1205 um, this is not the first time you see me with the camera I, I know my hair looks kinda bad right now it's just because it is 12 o'clock in the morning so yeah um oh so yeah you guys want to say anything before I go anything they're nervous so whatever alright well I'll talk to you guys later um thanks for watching this video and uh, go ahead and subscribe to all of them and uh yeah more info to come bye guys